AJ Sinclair, December 31st, 2020, 22 years old. I have 9,600 Instagram followers and 86,000 YouTube subscribers. I took it leaving for a car show one day. It's just the blue bunny in the driveway and it has 4,400 likes. Coming up just on five years on YouTube in January, it'll be five years. Well, I started out as a photographer. As most of you know, that's why the name Sinclair Photos is a thing. Um, then I really just feel like videos, you can hear the cars, you can see the cars move. I just felt like videos was had a lot more to offer than just a picture. I think honestly it's because everyone had to be home all year long so they had really nothing else better to do than surf the web. We had a lot of people join the Sinclair Photos family this year because of that. I feel like I'm more focused on what I need to do to grow the channel. I've learned a lot more about certain things. Um, and I've met a lot of new people, so I feel like my interpersonal skills have increased quite a bit as well. I didn't hit 100,000 subs. I really thought I was going to at one point during the year, but maybe next year. I would say for someone my age, yes, but I don't consider myself successful for what I have planned in the future. I'm not quite there yet. How them Lambo seats feel, bruh? Worked really hard for that. <laughs> I would say my loved ones and the blue bunny. Keeping the people entertained. I feel like having fresh ideas and trying new things is uh, much more important than it was last year. that my car is fast. <laughs> uh, thinking about taxes for the first time. That's definitely a scary thing whenever YouTube doesn't take them out. So uh, hopefully we can get through that or else you'll see me uh, in jail. I wouldn't really say I turned to anyone for guidance because nobody really knows and at least in Houston, nobody knows anything really that could help. But uh, I definitely look up to TJ Hunt and the Stradman. Those guys are uh, next level, and I totally want to be where they're at someday. That it won't be the same as this year. That it, this is the best it's going to get. And if that's the case, then that really sucks. <laughs> uh, we got our first million view video this year. And not only that, we got three of them, one of which that has, I think, over three million views now. So that's definitely been the biggest thing for me. Uh, really, the Stradman and TJ Hunt, they kind of share the number one spot in the podium. Uh, for my favorite supercar, gotta be an Aventador. I will own an Aventador someday. That is the absolute goal. And for hypercar, hmm probably have to say McLaren P1 right now. Uh, travel more. I really want to go back to California. There's lots of cool stuff to do there and I have a lot of friends over there. Um, I want to go on a cross-country road trip. So that, I mean, could help with the California part. And i uh, got a couple things up my sleeve I can't quite disclose yet. When I'm not filming, I'm uh, sitting right here in this chair playing uh, Cold War. That's really what I do whenever I'm not editing. The car community is good. A lot of people are hopping in for the first time, figuring out what they like. And uh, it's really, I feel like, split in half. you got the people who like the more expensive exotic stuff and then the more, more like everyday cars that you can build and go have fun with. Um, I definitely feel like some of the stuff that people do is dangerous. That's why I got out of the takeover scene whenever they started doing intersection stuff. Um, I feel like everything is okay as long as you don't, 
either piss someone off doing it or endanger somebody's life. So it's like, there's a good balance to have the craziness and have fun at the same time while respecting others. Okay, there's really two things that annoy me about the car community. One is the people that just shit talk other people just for the fun of doing it that they don't know anything about them. And two is on one hand I love that more than more people are starting to pick up the camera and start their YouTubes, but at the same time I see the people who just want to do it to make money and uh, that's really annoying because then they'll just come out with like two videos and then ask for a shout out when I just got my first shout out like this year from someone that's bigger than me and I feel like you gotta prove yourself before you go ask someone to do that. So my advice to anyone that's just starting out, just grind, prove yourself. I say at least do it for a year before you ask anybody for help because if you can do it by yourself, then you're gonna be A-OK -okay if someone else gives you the shout out. I feel like YouTube's just fine. It's getting a little different over the years, but really nothing's changed since I've started. I would say so this year especially. Um, I used to think that the more you, like the more money you had to spend, the more money you would make, which I guess is true in a sense. But this year I really only spent money on my car. That's why it looks like that. And that's been the greatest thing I've ever done as opposed to spending the money on going to London or flying across the country to go car spotting. Um, for someone who's wanting to start out today, I would say don't be a copycat because there's a lot of those out there and you can only get so far copying other people. Uh, but if you really are intrigued, you want to do it, I would just say get a car, create your own finished product and then people will just come and watch their journey along the way. I've had a lot of people tell me that watching the FRS build has inspired them to do the same thing. And that's what I feel like YouTube's all, all about. Um, yes and no. I feel like I've tried to step it up more uh, just at filming and editing, but I wouldn't say the whole traveling, the no sleep hopping on a plane at five in the morning to go do this thing. But um, certain ways, yes, but certain ways, it's been very similar to other years. Not really much, maybe once or twice, like at a mall or something. Not that much. Oh yeah, I feel like this year we stepped it up a big, big jump. And uh, that's what I'm always trying to ask you guys for is like cr constructive criticism. Um, this camera can only shoot 50 frames a second that I'm on right now, so I know it's not gonna be perfect, but uh, hopefully next year we can upgrade it and uh, just make absolutely beautiful videos for you guys. I would say no matter what, don't give up. That's really anybody watching as well. Just If you want it bad enough, don't give up. Um, I really want to go to Toronto next year or really anywhere in Canada, uh, but mainly Toronto. Uh, Miami is on the list. New York's on the list. And as far as like another continent, I'd really like to go back to Japan because that was really fun and I feel like I didn't get to experience that as much as I should have. Um, well, I got two more years left of college. Hopefully by the time that's done, I will have either good enough supportive income on here or get a real job and uh, get my own house. And really that's the goal. Once I get the house and the car, smooth sailing. Uh, honestly, I really like to collab with TJ Hunt. That's like, uh, I feel like me and him more have the same taste when it comes to cars and videos, so definitely TJ Hunt. Maybe go to the drag strip with my car. That's really the only thing I haven't done in Houston, so I feel like that'd be kind of fun. The music. The music I put in the videos is probably the biggest one. Um, I'm trying to figure out different kinds of music to put in there. Um, but just the good stuff that I like to listen to is all copyrighted, so that's the problem that I keep running into, but 
I will keep looking until I can satisfy almost everybody. But I I agree with you guys. The music sometimes is kind of eh. They're downstairs right now. Abby and Daisy. I guess I'll put them in the videos more for you guys if you want to see them. Okay, so if I had to start over from just buying the car, I would have got a manual. I feel like driving that car now is just kind of like I'm just waiting for the transmission to blow up. And I feel like if I had a manual, it'd just be more fun to drive. And also, I think I would have got the Pandem wheels instead of these uh, that I have now because I imagine that the Pandem wheels fit the Pandem kit so you won't rub. Uh, that's really my biggest complaint is just the rubbing. So whatever else I could do to fix that, but everything else has been uh, pretty freaking good except it not being a manual. Um, I bought the FRS because it was like my absolute favorite car under a hundred grand. Uh, honestly, I like this better than all really the other entry level like muscle cars or entry level cars in general. I feel like it's the best like entry level car uh, for anyone that wants to have fun with it and just not spend an arm and a leg and just be able to enjoy yourself. Um, yes and no. I had it listed on Facebook Marketplace and Car Gurus for a little bit, but it's just like the amount. Okay, if you're gonna modify your car like this, just know this before you do it. If you're gonna wide buy to the car, kiss the resale value bye bye. You ain't getting nothing for that kit unless you're selling it separately. But then you have a car with cut fenders, so how could you sell that to somebody? Um, other than that, it'd just be just to free up more money so I could get something else. I feel like I've done everything there is to do with that car, and uh, sometimes you just like a fresh start. But what's holding me back is just look at it. Uh, I get so much attention in that thing. Like I feel like if I was in a black Lamborghini, I wouldn't get as much attention as I would in the bright blue FRS, which is kind of weird. Definitely 100% the Lamborghini Veneno. I want to see one of those so freaking bad. I just don't know anyone that would allow you to see one, so it is still eluding me to this day. Um, let's just say I've made a video on it, and uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. Also, great news, um, I already bought it. It's actually sitting in the driveway right now, uh, next to the Blue Bunny, and you guys will see that video tomorrow. Not saying what it is yet, but you guys will see tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. The first ever car was a 2003 Buick Century. That thing was bad to the bone. It was gold. I plasti dipped the wheels gold. It was a work of art. Sad to see it go. I uh, blew the engine up because uh, didn't do oil changes properly. Yeah, a couple times I got really upset because just just how YouTube works, you can't always have your best month. So it's constantly up and then way back down and up and way back down. And those downs hit different sometimes. Uh, they can do bad things to your mind. And But I would just say if you're feeling the same way, just know it ain't going to be like that forever and just keep grinding because it will bounce back. It always does. Um, I feel like I definitely would want to, but with everything going around with the police trying to get the people that organize all the stuff, I just don't really find that intriguing right now. So maybe if I get permission from somewhere that has a lot big enough and everyone will just be cool, be chill, then that'd be just fine. But till then, I don't really have any interest in hosting a meet. Um, well. That engine is uh, not known to hold very much power, and I really don't want to go through the whole another chunk of money to build the engine and build the transmission and all that stuff. I feel like right now where it is, it's, it's all right. Maybe a little bit more would be nice, but I'm pretty happy with how it is right now. I'm not trying to go gap anybody, pretty much is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, well really it was watching, I think, TJ Hunt's videos and um, seeing his FR or his BRZ 
that thing just looked so crazy and I didn't know you could do that to a car. I had no idea what a body kit was until I saw that. And ever since that moment, I've been obsessed with uh, JDM and the body kits and all that stuff. So now I got one of my very own. Well, that's a great question. Uh, we're rocking the merch right now. The Hoopty Crew shirts, very exclusive. There's only a couple left. But you can grab one at SinclairPhotoshop.com. The link's always in the description below the videos. But uh, grab your sizes while they're left. We got shirts, pins, lanyards, and stickers. All right, guys, that's all the questions. I want to thank you guys so, so, so much for an amazing 2020. I know this year was super hard for a lot of you guys. And I'm just glad if one of my videos made you smile going through a tough time. Welcome to all the new subscribers we've gotten in the past year. Cannot be more grateful and just want to tell you guys we have some great things coming for 2021. So if you have any specific video ideas that you guys want to see, please leave a comment in the comment section below. We're going to hit 100,000. We're going to do great things. Got the new project car sitting in the driveway, which that will reveal will come out tomorrow. But once again, thank you, thank you, Thank you so much. All of this year could not have been possible without each and every one of you watching, subscribed or not. But if you're not subscribed, I would really, really like it if you did hit the subscribe button if I popped up in your suggested feed before and you're watching this video. So once again, thank you so, 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 so much for being a great, great family. 2020, let's crush 2021. If you liked the video, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.